Resistancebandtraining.com coming to you today with a helpful training tip that I think is going to get after your workouts like no other. Drop sets. Yeah, we've talked about drop sets. Back in the day, we did all kinds of drop sets with dumbbells, barbells. You know, you'd strip the weight off the barbell, go again, drop the dumbbell, go to the next size dumbbell, and just go right down the rack. Remember those workouts? They were phenomenal workouts. Well, guess what you can do with bands too. Yeah, you can do drop sets with bands very easily, especially when you've got a single band package. You know, all the single band packages we got easily work to do drop sets. And you know, what's funny is people wonder why we only sell single bands and packages. Well, why would you purchase one band? You're never going to be able to do drop sets and you're going to have the same resistance to train with all the time. You know that doesn't get results. You know you got to change up resistance. Well, drop sets allow you to change up resistance on the fly. Let me show you what I mean. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a single band package. In this case, I got black, red, and orange. I'm going to drop into it and we're going high pulls. Strong high pulls to the chin, high pulls. We're going to grip it. We're going five reps. Woo, woo, woo. There's five. Now I'm dropping the orange. I'm going to take five seconds, drop the orange, going again. All the way up. Excellent. I'm dropping the red. So now I'm dropping it back down. Set. Go. Five. All the way up. There you go. Lock it out. All right. Drop set. Oh, you want to go back up the hill? No problem. Let's go. Grab the red. Here we go again. One. All the way up. A nice job. Grab the orange. Last set. Come on. Run. It's one thing to go down the hill. Totally another to go back up the hill. How slick is that? Drop sets. Now, combination of bands. I dropped orange, I dropped red, I dropped black. Nobody says I could have dropped black first, stayed with orange and red. I could have gone ahead and dropped red first, stayed with orange and black. Then came black with black and orange. Guys, you got three bands, three different resistance levels. You do the math. There's a lot of ways to go ahead and do drop sets. You want another option? Hammer curls are great. Yeah, just grab it. I love doing finisher drop sets with hammer curls. Five reps, boom. Keep those upper body calm. Just squeeze it up, boom. Drop the orange. Ready to go. Oh yeah. There's four. There's five. Drop the black. Or excuse me, drop the red. Go. One more. Bang. There you go. Drop set hammer curls. Drop set shoulder presses. Drop set split squats, front squats. Any exercise that you do with a free band attachment and a single band, you can pretty much do drop sets with. But you know what? You don't have to do it with attachment free. Over here, I've got three bands attached. This is my large uh, single band package, all right? All we're missing here is the blue, all right? So I've got black, purple, and green, all right? So I'm going to start by doing tug of wars with the green. I'm rocking here. I'm going to hook my hand through so I get a good tug of war. And I'm going tug of war for six reps. Boom. Now, I'm just going to drop down to purple. Very little rest. I'm right back. Six. There it is. There's four. 
There's five. There's six. One more drop. We're going to black. At this point in the game, you're cash. So you're working on how fast can you accelerate your arms. Boom. And now you switch to the other side. Start it all over again. Drop sets with attachment. Uh, you might need to go bigger, especially if you're going pulling. Pulling is a strong movement. You may need bigger bands. Move yourself up to a bigger single band package. Now, here's the deal. You can work heavy resistance. So I could have went green and purple combination. I could have went all three, then dropped the black, then dropped the purple, then dropped the green. But I went different bands because my last set, I wanted to work speed. Speed equals power. The faster I can accelerate something, the more power I'm exerting. So keep that in mind that when you start to do drop sets, it's not always about how heavy the resistance is. Sometimes it's about speed. Sometimes you might flip flop and say, okay, I want an isometric hold with that last set to really intensify that muscle contraction. Tense muscle contraction equals what? Tone, development, growth. So there you go, drop sets. Load up your workout. Go ahead and knock out. I'll bring you some drop set workouts in the near future. I'll show you how we set them up to an interval timer, which you can do too. Set up to 20 seconds on. Give yourself five seconds to transition and drop the next set. Go 20 seconds again. I love time-based drop sets because you know what? You just keep pushing until the time your rep goes, and then you go to the next one. I don't like counting reps as much as I like just listening to time, cranking it, and going after it. Try some drop sets. Let me know what you're thinking.